In 2.1.2, you need to recognize what is good practice in creating lists. Now that uh, includes a whole range of things, including avoiding blank rows and columns in the main body. So to show you why we do that, I've got a, a couple of little tables in here. I've got one which is my competitors and race money, and another one to do with expenses. At the moment, I can click in here and I can do some sorting. I can sort this up and down by alphabetical amounts. I can sort it by prize monies, and the table all does as it should do. So now, why do we avoid blank rows and columns? If I insert a column in here, if I now come over to this side and do the sort again, keep your eye on what happens to the race times and prize money. The spreadsheet has realized, because I've created a blank column, that these are now actually two separate tables. They're not related to each other. So Danica, who was winning £100, now looks like she's uh, been demoted to only win £40. So it breaks the relationship in the rows. So let's just undo that and put that back together again and just show you. When I sort this, you can see now that the values in the row stay together. Similarly, if we put in an extra row, and I click in here and sort this, it only sorts the elements that it thinks are within the same section. This is all the same reason why we leave blank columns between separate lists. This list over here is not associated to this list. And if I don't have the column and I start doing sorts here, you can see that my marshals and venue list are sorted alongside it because the spreadsheet is treating them as part of the same little table. Now what about gaps between the table and the totals? Well you notice all the time I was sorting this table, the gap underneath kept the total prize fund away from it. If I put those together and I start sorting, you can see my total prize calculation has been moved uh, and it really confused the spreadsheet because it now no longer knows which cells it's supposed to be adding up. So we keep the totals separate from the table because we probably want to do things with the table and we want to isolate that from any other calculations or any other lists that are around on the sheet.